Um, I don't want to like make merch and sell to my community. I want to make a product okay. uh, that can exist on its own. That's what Feastables is. It's not Mr. Beast chocolate. It's Feastables, right? right? Of so course. if Mr. Beast wanted to sell this, or if Mr. Beast wants to sell this to people who've never heard of him, he can yeah. do that, right? Because um, the product is made so generally. So like that's like yeah. next level YouTube strategy is mm -hmm. is thinking like what products can I make that I know my audience will buy um, and then I know that I can make well. So yep. he's doing that and then um, the space that I'm currently kind of like trying to like enter in and conquer right now is like the Pokemon card world Yeah. Um, in terms of like Pokemon card content creation. And there's a lot of extreme, the cool thing with Pokemon cards is like how uh, A, entrepreneurially minded everyone is because it's a collectibles, it's like garage sale yeah. flipping mentality, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so like sure. you're really always on on like how can I profit or like all these like cool ideas. It's like those kind of people just end up in that area in collectibles. So the cool thing is a lot of these big TCG YouTubers have these like super intricate businesses or they have like these really awesome products like oh, yeah. Pokerev, who's like the number one, has these really, really good mystery packs. And like I know roughly what he's like selling and making per month off of these things. Like he's making like he's FU well. money. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. Good for him. Yeah, yeah, right. Good for him. And yeah, it's a great yeah. product. And he kind of he was the one who like ushered that in. And a That's lot of dope. other people are starting to make kind of the same product as him. Um, Ando Unlisted Leaf, he's like another major yep. Pokemon TCG person. All the Pikachus um, in the back. All the Pikachus in the back. <laughs> <laughs> right, he uh, he he partly owns a vending machine company that's, really? like, that's just spreading like wildfire across Australia right now, where it's like a Pokemon card vending machine. Wow. And you know, he's got his face and his QR code to his channel on the side of the vending machine. He's got his own mystery packs, his own branded packs inside the machine. In the, oh, wow! So you know, Good for him, right? You're starting to see this a lot more across YouTubers who are like cool. kind of like really on the forefront of it. Of like, how can I make products that my community and audience can enjoy? Right? Yeah. Now.